Hey, so I'm in the sanctuary today trying to learn some pieces that I'll be recording for our worship service. And um, I haven't practiced these much, so I'm gonna have to learn them pretty fast before we start recording today. So I just kind of wanted to show you what my process is for learning something quickly and trying to play it in a um, musical and correct fashion. So first, uh, this piece is called Credo in Unum Deum by Mr. Everett Titcombe. And I first try to just get a semblance of the, um, the registration that they want. This just says great, fortissimo, and full swell. So I'm gonna grab some, um, some principal stops over here on the great eight, four, and two. Actually, I'm gonna leave the two off because I know that one is really uh, screechy and this piece has a lot of high notes in it. So swell the great there and over on the swell, grabbing my eighths, a two foot. Um, I might grab the oboe too just for some reed sound. Swell the pedal, 16, eight, and four. So it'll give me kind of a general um, concept of what this is supposed to sound like and then I've never played this before so I like to play it pretty slowly and it doesn't have to be correct or anything just kind of play it through and get an idea get it in my ear of what it's supposed to be like and then I can go back uh, for the next step in my process <laughs> Get a concept of what it should be like musically and play it slow enough to where you aren't making too many mistakes just play it as slowly as necessary so you will not feel overwhelmed while playing it through um, that's the basic gist of this then once i've played it all the way through i'm going to go back to the beginning and play short fragments very slowly in repetition a little bit faster each time till I get it up to the desired tempo and then I will piece together those little phrases and if you play it slowly enough from the very beginning so where you don't feel overwhelmed then your hands really will learn it very quickly <laughs> pretty slow tempo actually um, so it doesn't need to go that much faster <laughs> comfortable with that and when you have uh, phrases that sort of elide into each other you'll want to stop practicing the first phrase at the beginning of uh, the next phrase so that when you practice the following phrase um, you're, you're practicing the transitions between the phrases as well so don't forget about practicing the transitions So I've got about a page and a half left on this to learn. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done so I don't run out of time. But um, that's my general process on doing this. At the very end, when you're feeling more comfortable with it, uh, I will go ahead and make sure I like my registration and um, you know save any 
other variations of registrations that I need to really tie this piece together. So I'm going to keep working on it and I'll come back when I'm ready to play it all the way through. All right, so I'm feeling okay about where I'm at um, in this piece. It could use a little more polishing, but we're almost to an accept acceptable point. So I'm gonna go back and um, save the pistons that I want. Now for the beginning, I think uh, after playing this through and getting a feel for the musicality, I think I would like for the registration to be a little bit um, more dramatic. So I'm gonna grab some more stuff over here in the swell, like the plain jus, and maybe the 16 foot clarinet. We've got a 16 foot clarinet and not a regular eight foot clarinet, interestingly. Okay, I like that. And then in the pedal, I think I'll add a trombone. Maybe 16 foot trombone, so let's try that. registration changes is on the second page um, this is showing sort of a solo stop in the great and a more accompanimental set of stops in the swell uh, the dynamic is mezzo forte and the tempo increases a little bit also so I'm going to take I'm gonna leave the great the way it is and just take off some of these high sounds take off the clarinet Take off the oboe, take out the trombone and the pedal, and the forefoot, and the eight foot, and let's try that. I would like the great to come out a little more because it's got this sweeping melody, so how about we added the trumpet. That may be too loud, but let's see. into this forte minomoso section so it'll be similar to the beginning but with a little less so I might take out the clarinet and the plain jus over there and the trombone and the pedal <laughs> to the original 
registration. Uh oh, I saved over it. Hold on, let me fix it. Should be this. with the registration so now I'm going to try this all the way through making sure my transitions are smooth. with where I'm at there of course it could use a little more polishing but I think uh, we got this done in about 20 minutes probably yeah so um, now this is a relatively medium level piece but so it depends on the level of piece and how long it is of course but you can totally learn something like this in 15 to 30 minutes um, with the with the right uh, strategy and a focused strategy so I hope that was helpful and uh, I'll see you next time bye